Welcome back to episode 5 of our Solo Crusader series for Legends and PTR mod. We left last episode with the orcs chasing us and unfortunately they have caught up. We now have to decide whether we want to take this fight or not. It is going to be really tricky with warriors and I don't think we'll have the durability for it, but we'll have to try. 80 durability is not that much when you're all by yourself. Uh, our goals today obviously are trying to get another flail. But whilst we're out here in the wilderness, we do have a decent amount of food, I guess four days-ish, to try and get ourselves another orc location. But yeah, the main thing is some orc warriors might be a little bit too much for us. We can deal with young, it's just the warriors having a lot of armor. Yeah, look at that. There's no way we're going to get through that armor. So, I think that's it for us at the moment. We have to ditch this fight. Because the flail does well. I just don't think it does well enough. I mean, we had some high grounds and stuff. But that's not the factor. We could probably have won. It's just the weapon would break by the time. And look at that. Yeah. Too much to deal with. But that's okay. Some always means six, and that's the problem in this game. Uh, they did just sneak up on us, though. I was really not expecting it. Let's slowly make our way back. Um, still trying to find some orc territory. But we are slowly running out of food. And anyone could really ambush us at the moment. Even some spiders, which I really... Really don't want to fight, and my goodness, that's a scary orc location. Okay, we're slowly mapping out where all these orcs are. That is the Witch's Hut, which I do not want to go to. We could deal with it, but the Witch's Hut, I think, has a set and amount of enemies in it every single time. Also, two Shrats, which I'm not amazingly keen for. Yeah, they really won't give us anything good. Undead. But yeah, just making our way back to civilization. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's a freaking mine out here. Everything wants to kill us. <laughs> Even more footprints. That'll be goblins, right? No, that's the thugs. That's right. I keep forgetting they're thugs. Okay, we're back in civilization. We have three more days of food. Well, it says 16, but I think it's down to three. Marauding green skins. Let's see, what do you have for us? Nothing. Weaponsmith? Damn. Well, I did say we can't get any armors for a while. A patrol quest is probably what we need to cool ourselves down and maybe wander around for some more stuff. I do want to try and sell here if we can. 18. You know what? That's good enough. That's... that's fine. Oops, accidentally sold. Yeah, we're not trying to sell you, Mr. Armor. We're keeping you as a trophy. And I'll keep the bassinet visor because that is a very good visor. Whenever we have the chance to equip it, basically. It's all about fatigue. And the inventory is getting nice and cleaned up. And the cash stack's looking beautiful. And we can sell it for 164. That's good enough. There's no giant rush. Uh, 8 days, 10 days, 11. Seemingly cheese is the way to go. Yeah. And that will last us eight days, which is perfectly fine. Uh, let's take the patrol quest and wander ourselves around in civilization again without having so many things chase us. It'll feel so much nicer. 30 heads, so we'll find something to fight. Most likely brigands. Worst comes to worst, we can try and hunt. Uh, one of the locations around on the map. We don't see very many at the moment. 
But we can always dabble out to those brigands. If we can't find anything along this route. Do you guys have anything for us? Unfortunately not. That's okay. Let's take a slightly dangerous route this way. You guys only have the uh, nothing. Yep. Oh. Goblin Raiders? I mean, we fought them a lot. Let's go again. <laughs> Let's go again. Goblins seem to be our favorite enemy for some weird reason at the moment. And I'm not necessarily complaining, it's just a fact of life. <laughs> And in all honesty, the Flail does a really decent job at dealing with their low health and some nice headshots. As you can see there. We will be able to deal with Orcs soon enough, it's just the armor. And it's nice that Goblins don't have a crazy amount of armor. And we can catch up to them. Oh, hello! Whilst you're defending the Archers, we can rush them. Interesting movement. Why did they just shuffle down? Very weird movement. But at least we catch one of the archers. <coughs> I didn't actually want to rush underneath them. Oh, oh, we we did catch an archer, but then we didn't. Okay, that's better. The footwork does make it annoying. Okay, can we catch him? Yes, good. No footwork. Nice. And the double hit to finish it. Golden rank insignia. Very nice. 400 bucks and some nice loot. And that's seven heads already. I hate how it just randomly shows footprints that weren't there before. So there's some beasts that used to be around these parts. But, for the moment, looking pretty empty. I don't want to do the full rotation past this place, because this place constantly keeps putting undead at us. But I will do this fight. Uh, are we fully healed? Eh, close enough. And we have a lot of tools, so I can repair... Actually, not these. We'll repair that one, that one, and that one, because they make the most money. Notch blades don't make that much money. Not bad. Let's take the high ground. Of course, the range. Yeah, we might as well stun the dog. I was thinking it could get the kill, but going for the surround is good. Double swings. And I forgot to turn reds on. Of course I did. There we go. Don't steal our kill. It's gonna happen. They're going to murder him in the back of the head, aren't they? Oh, so close. If that was a headshot, you would have lost your friend. Fair enough. We didn't lose any XP this time. That's nice to see. Confident as always. And let's rush them. One, two... Oh, we can ch rush the bottom ones. And the top ones. Let's go for the bottom one first. It makes these guys move because there's a giant red line here, but it's not like it makes a big difference because we are really strong. And these guys do not pose a threat. And we catch both of them! How beautiful is that? The swing almost gets both of them, but obviously the single target is beautiful. Uh, 75 bucks, nothing amazing. But that's another 8 heads, no, 7, because the dog doesn't count. Added to our pool of patrol money. Now, we can't go too close to Wormberg, or else it'll finish the quest. And we'll be nice. We get some free food. So we kind of have to make our way around Wormberg to this brigand location. Because I think farming this spot would be very helpful. Do we still have anything available to us? Unfortunately not. What could we possibly get? 
We don't need, basically we don't need retinue slots. But it would be really cool to have some. But I don't think we can just get any for free. No. Unfortunate, because you would we'd love to get the bounty hunter one and stuff, but it's just so many unlocks that just don't work for a solo run. Which is perfectly fine. It's just unfortunate that we can't benefit from it all. This should be an easy fight. We will do a quick repair just to make sure we're maxed out. And we will try and take it at night. Yep. Very nice. Minimizes the damage we take. Even though it won't be too much. That's another 10 free heads added to our list. Which pushes up to 24. Not that bad. Well, as long as they don't get stolen from us, because that's the other thing. We lose XP and we lose a head count for our patrol quest. That is a lot of archers. Okay, I think we do this, 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 and this. Yeah, that's probably the better way to do it. Locking down three archers before they can get the full volley off of us. I know we're not super threatened by damage from archers, but it's it's still better than nothing. Yeah, I probably should have waited, but it doesn't matter. We get to swing around every day. And rolling on five isn't as bad of a difference of rolling on six anyways. Let's get this beautiful swing. What are we going to get? I'm guessing, let's put the money out. It is... I'm guessing four kills. It was three. So close. But a stun and two fleas is pretty nice. Nice. Good misses. Don't kill your friends, please. Uh, I'm gonna wait. So we get the kills on the flea. Actually, he's stunned. Okay, so we go here for the two fleas there. Yeah, I'm not sure how we're going to deal with that. Let's just wait for the fleas, get the free damage. Chase this one down. Fair enough, there's a rotate. Let's walk around. And now we've got both of them. This one stopped fleeing, interestingly enough. And now we just have to chase him. That was a... Oh, I was going to say that was a really quick chase, but it wasn't, sadly. <laughs> that was pretty quick. Nice. Double. 1,000 XP exactly. Assault? Nice. 92? Not bad. I was kind of expecting a stronger location, but, you know, we'll take what we can get. Repair that for some cash. Should we wait for the six heads from somewhere else? We'll do a quick little walk around. <laughs> hey, buds. I remember you. Do we really want to do a Shrat fight? Not really. I mean, we could possibly win it, but I think they do a lot of piercing damage to go through your armor. So I'm not willing to risk it. I'm just not. Oh my goodness, they're fast. <laughs> Wormberg, you defend us. We have two days left. We'll do a quick walk up to the northeast side of things. Yeah, there's a chance we'll get more people, but if not, it's fine. Oh, there's footprints. 
There's four goblins. That's looking good. It's not the footprints I was following, but it's footprints nonetheless. And after this fight, we'll hand it in. Getting two extra heads isn't the worst thing in the world. It's not the most important thing in the world. Ah, uh, they're fighting for the high ground. That makes sense. That makes sense. Wow, that was a beautiful double swing, and this is the only survivor. You poor thing. Let's put you out of your misery and get a double hit again. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's go get paid. That's going to be a nice cash stack. 1500 Not bad. Please tell me you restocked your supplies. Oh! If only that's what we wanted. And a shovel. <laughs> no, we're not going to go with the shovel. It's really cool, but we're not going with the shovel. That sword staff's pretty cool, though. It's too bad we can't make use of it. And there's no other flails. There is really cool armors. I'm leaning towards the 4 for 87. That's a pretty decent armor. And it's only 4 grand, so we could pick it up. That one's nice. As a tier 2, though, we can always get stronger ones for a Battleforged person. Noble Vest, that looks really nice. Yeah, it doesn't work for us, though. Uh, I'm gonna grab this Sir Emmerich's Curse Bringer and have ourselves a beautiful green underlaying tunic. tunic. Upgrading ourselves from the minus 8 fatigue, 65, to get ourselves an 87 from minus 4. And it just looks so much better. Can't really see it through the attachments, but you know it's there. Uh, which allows us to wear our great bassinet again. And we're still down to 25 fatigue. Looking nice, and I'm loving the development. Can't wait to get some more famed items, but that is our first famed item. As far as I remember. Yeah. Looking good. Too bad we can't get the bounty hunter off of that, but that's okay. We are selling at 20. There we go. Definitely try and make as much as we can off of all that. Oh, and I keep saying I shouldn't sell that, because it looks cool. But... We're back up to 15k, practically, even though we did just spend... A, oh, we actually will sell that as well. There we go, 15k. And that will hopefully fuel us for spending more money... That tier 2 is really bad. I mean, even for nimble people, that's not that amazing. Yeah, we'll spend some more later. And really hoping that these guys can get us some better weapons. That just urges me to go on the hunt. To try and find a... Uh, the wrong flail. Okay, let's try. Let's try. Where's the other places we know? I know there's one up north. Not Grim Totem. There's Sor Summersburg. I know there's one all the way on the right-hand side of the map, but this map really sucks for late-game stuff. So let's run ourselves up to Summersburg, and let's hope they have what we want. Oh, hello. No, that's not what I wanted. They are running from us. Yeah, you guys have a fight there. Uh, I was panicked a little bit there. <laughs> but that's okay. We're back to normal, happy, sane mode. Yep, that's good. Maybe pick up a quest or two along the way. Green skins around Sotel. If that's taking us north, that is not. Uh, defend. That takes time. Follow the tracks. It takes time and effort. We gotta try and get some stuff done, though. I I do love these quests for the XP. How close are we to a level? We're at fourteen. We're actually not that far. Okay, you know what? We'll take some time out of our day. We'll grab ourselves a Follow the Tracks quest. Uh, probably ignoring the spiders that are up there. I was wandering around to see if it was spiders, and I can't tell. It's just nothing. 
Okay, well, it would have been fun to see the spiders beat up peasants, but it did, wasn't meant to be. Fair enough. Let's get ourselves these quests, quick quests over and done with. Wow, we can only get two spaces. So rough. The forest is a horrible place to be. And 5% are horrible. Yep, not a problem, not a problem. It's just the arches that are a problem because they'll take forever to catch. <sighs> the struggles of doing a lone build and a lone wolf style run. Chasing archers. It truly is the worst. <laughs> Please don't run from us. No, we can't run that far. Can we? Yes, we can catch them. Thank you. You're too kind. Was that double five percents? Nah, it was a 16 and then a 9%. Fair enough. I think this one's gonna run because his friend is fleeing. No, he isn't. Okay, so the AI thinks that guy's still in combat. I like that. I was worried the AI didn't think he was in combat. And then when archers don't have anyone defending them, they just automatically flee. Nice. Double dunk. 480, 18. I was kind of expecting for a bit more, but then again, from what that was in that fight, I really shouldn't have expected much more. Okay, let's see if we can get that Greenskins quest. Do we want the Defending for 1400? Or the Greenskins for 1000? Uh, I think we can do the green skins for a thousand. Because it's only a thousand, I there's going to be a minimal number of warriors in there. Which is more manageable for us. And there's unholds. Okay. There's four unholds. Well, I'm taking a high ground right away. Sheesh. Well, the fact that we're unhappy right away is bad. Why did he throw us? We were literally surrounded by unholds. I'm so confused. What? What are they doing? I might just quit this fight. I mean, I want this fight, but then I don't want this fight. Was weird. Being fully surrounded by unholds and he throws me instead of just bashes me for the extra bonus attack that he would have had from backstabber and stuff. I mean, he doesn't get backstabber because we have the perk. But that, that just seemed weird. Okay, well they let us escape and everything, so let's um let them be. Oh, hi, Goblin Raiders. Let's get the caravan to help. I mean, we won't get any XP out of it, but that's hilarious. Goblin Raiders against 28. I, I think we'll lose... We'll win the fight before we get a turn. Holy crap, did that just snipe him? Their slinger one-shot the goblin. Damn... Yeah, I think we're just going to sit here under the net for the whole fight and get paid for it. I'm not arguing about that. Who is it? It's Sir Irving. You and your party, my friend. Top notch. Let's escape and move one space forward. And round two will happen and they'll practically all be dead. <laughs> I think these goblins severely miscalculated who they were attacking. hit. Triple throwing weapons because of Skirmisher. Ooh. Ooh, 
that's scary. I'm gonna have to remember that for when fighting noble armies. That, the, oh, they look very scary. And there's one left. I don't think they can catch that last one. Where is he? Probably up. Oh, you almost had him, bud. It's hard to see when we have a helmet that reduces our vision to four squares. <laughs> you don't get to see much. Sergeants are beasts. Look at all those perks. This is a good lesson into why you shouldn't fight nobles in PTR. <laughs> At least not until later. But we got nothing for that fight, because obviously we didn't do anything. We just sat around. But we got paid, so that's the fun part. Damn. Uh, follow the tracks. Yeah, we'll do it. Screw it. We're getting distracted. It's too easy to get distracted. Oh, no. Not in the swamp. Yikes. And this isn't going to give us very much XP either. Just disappointing fights today. Need to get out of this water. But the arches probably can't get through 300 armor, so we're set. Surprised we missed an 83, I think. I think this guy only got hit once. But in the water, your accuracy and your defenses were lowered, so... It's a little bit more of an equal playing field for them. But then again, 5% and all that isn't really equal. Less archers is nice. And hopefully we can catch them. Are they going to run or are they going to stay? Please stay. Yes, we catch them before they even try and run. That's what we like to see. And it's over. 333, that was worse than the last one. Oh, we need to start taking better fights. Okay, so that's all done. Oh. No way. No way are we ever going to be able to do this quest. This is a quest that is just not on our list. Defending the boy against hexes. We've got one guy. We could take everything on the fight because we can deal with hexes. But there's no way we could keep the boy alive. Yikes. That's a rough one. So I don't see that happening anytime soon. Food's still doing alright. Not the worst thing in the world, so let's head up north and stop getting distracted. <laughs> and stay away from those unholds, because uh, they're being annoying. Uh, defending the location, I guess it's okay. But we're not that far away from going north, so let's go north. There are two weaponsmiths available. There's Summersburg and Grafenschatz. Or, I, I totally butchered that. This place is a bit dangerous. Yeah, I knew it was going to happen. This forest is dangerous for caravans and for us. Ooh, look how safe we are. Being ambushed in the forest and only having two options for them to hit us. I'm not complaining. We get less to swing, but we get less to hit us. And if we keep a dog on one side, we're set. Main reason why I'm not moving out in the open is because there might be a reaver. And it could be annoying. Nice. But at the moment it looks like it's just thralls with some decent armor on them. This might be a long one. <laughs> but our survival instinct is stacking up nicely. That's one hit already. To make it go a little bit faster, I'll go for the swing. Why not? Let's get the dog as well. Oh, we missed the dog? 
on a 95. That dog is a lucky dog. Okay, yeah, we should just keep swinging. Rolled a 93, so that was close. Mm-hmm. Man, that dog is lucky as heck. Another 95 on the dog. We even have formidable approach as well. Which is absolutely amazing. Loving it. And it makes us deal with these barbarians. They don't have overwhelm, which is one concern that we had on the channel. So thank you for the comments and the concerns. I am worried about... Maybe Reavers getting overwhelmed? But we'll have to see how that goes. And if this fight even has Reavers in it, it probably won't. By the way things are going. And for the split second I see things on the map, I can't tell. Yeah, the rotate, that's fine. Just another thrall, that's fine. Yes, I know. You guys like playing Ring Around the Rosie. There's a lucky percent that they hit, which means we don't get formidable approach on this guy anymore. But he's dead, so we don't care. <laughs> we one-shot him in the head. Thrall, thrall, thrall. That's four out of seven. Yeah, my money is on just thralls. Lucky 5% again. Not a problem with death. Death solves all of the problems that we have. Nice. And the best part about barbarians is there's no such thing as a ranged barbarian. Other than, I guess, beast masters, because they kind of act like ranged people. Um, so they'll keep changing, charging you down, and you won't have to worry about chasing them at the end of a fight. Oh, there's still a dog? Okay. That's the latest I've ever seen a dog join a fight. Wow. I was not expecting that. Hey, bud. Still going around the rosy. And you're dead. That was actually a pretty very useful map. And that was good XP. Look at that 1500. Gotta fight barbarians more often, eh? And that's why we're up the north. Get some more weapons, get some better fights. Now we just have to try out Reavers. See if we're capable of that. And I'm sure there'll be plenty of them up here. In due time. Uh, whilst we are wandering around, we can do a patrol quest. And it takes us to Summersburg. Uh, what's the other option? Nah, we're not doing a delivery. We'll do a patrol. Getting paid to do what we want to do. It's amazing. And for prices, we'll take the copper. That's a good price. Tools are a little expensive, but we're doing okay. So I'm not desperate to sell them or buy anything just yet. Uh, let's go to Grafenschat. If we got this patrol before we got ambushed, that would have been really good. Okay, what's available? You've got public executions, and technically you're meant to have safe roads because we just patrolled. But apparently that's not showing. Interesting. <gasps> yes! It's here! Oh my goodness, that took forever. But maybe not as long as the last one did. We've got another chain mace! We desperately need brawny. We cannot have this in our back pocket, can we? Oh god, that puts us down to 17. I mean, we have minus 2 fatigue from the bandages, which I don't know why we have them in there. We're never going to be able to use them. Yeah, I don't see us ever having the chance to use them. But being down to 18, is it's too hard. Daggers don't use fatigue, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, the Traveler's Sash is technically minus one, but it's helping us a lot for inventory. 
So we're holding on to that as long as we can, as long as we desperately need it. I mean, we could try and use... Does that make it work? Technically. If we give up on the helmet that we keep trying to put back on our face, we could hold a second chain mace. And then within the next level, which is 500 XP away, we can get Brawny. Which then reduces and gives us so much fatigue back. Uh, bags and belts would help because it allows your non two handed bags to longer give non two handed weapons to longer give a penalty to maximum fatigue. It doesn't help because this is a two handed weapon. So it doesn't assist us in the slightest. So the only possible way we can keep more weapons and keep our fatigue lower is brawny and any other perk that gives us fatigue, which is not very many at the moment. So we're kind of coming up a bit dry for that, and we might have to start putting that plus one into fatigue from now on, because we really need it. We really do. But we have a second chain mace. How amazing is that? And now we can actually take warrior fights without worrying about our weapon breaking. So I'm looking forward to that, and we have to make sure we don't sell this this um, bassinet visor. That is so sweet. I'm still looking for a third one, because we do want a third one. So going up to Summersburg is a good call. 271 is not bad. Let's make some money off of that. 19 is good enough as well, so let's sell everything we don't need. And we don't really need the bandages. It's sadly really expensive for fatigue, minus two. For us, every single point of fatigue makes a difference, so I'm really happy to see everything is looking okay, and there is nothing in the general store as expected. Let's head over to Summersburg and see what we've got. Footprints? Hello. We won't fight you in the mountains, but I guess we don't have much of a choice. Where did that fight take us? It took us in the mountains, okay, well... We are invisible, and we're now we're not. This will give us some decent XP, so... Not complaining in the slightest for this ambush. Well, it wasn't really an ambush, it was just a fight. Because they didn't surround us completely. Fair enough. <laughs> I always find rotates to be funny. It makes no sense why he'd rotate the dog in. Uh, as a patrol quest, the, as the dogs don't count, so that's three kills that are wasted in this fight. Sad to see, but it's okay. And in all honesty, I kind of want to move back here so we get... Oh, he tried to push us with his shield! You cheeky bugger. That's a beautiful swing. I don't think we have a chance to move around too much on this map. Um, because we're kind of stuck where we are. Getting surrounded. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Lucky five, but that's okay. You guys are already doing badly. The double five from the dog. Ho ho! And he survives. This dog is more contending than these guys. <laughs> but bring up the Reavers, please. We are stuck up on thralls at the moment, but... Oh yeah, we just can't move. Um, but I'd love to test our strength against Reavers, so if we can find some, I'll definitely hunt them down. Yikes. Another five. But barely denting us. Another five. Another few 95s missed, sadly. Oh, the double swing! It always feels good, every single time. It's so good. Another 1500, and there's the level we wanted. Eh, the loots could be better, but that's okay. Barbarians don't give you that much loot. Unless you start getting to Reavers. Uh, let's just jump up that level. Let's get that maximum fatigue, defense, and attack. Yeah, the attack is still important. Weirdly enough, we were at 118 and then went down to 104, so that's a funny little interaction. But we finally can grab the brawny we really wanted. And we get 44 fatigue. 
can wear the helmet we want and still have so much fatigue left over. And the weapon barely dents it. Oh, it feels so good not having to be so heavy. For fatigue-wise. We can wear heavier armor, we can start buying heavier armor. I mean, it's going to be tough to find heavier armor than these. Because we already have pretty decent stuff. It's mainly for the uh, fame stuff that we can try and find. Oh, it feels so good though. More barbs, and are those good ones? No, nah, it's just thralls again. Come on, game. And there is no flail either up here, unfortunately. Sad to see it. There is training equipment. Oh, I remember they increased the price in the latest patches to be 10 grand. Do we spend 12 and a half grand for training equipment? That's so expensive, but we could get our free perk. And our free trait. It would take us days upon days to do it. But it would be so worth it. We could do like a training marathon. We just have to go through a bit of food. It would set us back in terms of the scaling of the game a little bit. But we'd have to do it eventually. Great Helm, 12 for 175. What are we wielding at the moment? 12 for 180, so this Great Helm is slightly better, even though it doesn't look as pretty. It is slightly better. There is... not really upgrades here at the moment for us. That's new. I haven't seen that one before. Full harness of plate armor. 26 for 170. I don't think that's that amazing. Yeah, 24 for 165 is better. That's probably why I haven't seen it. It's a bit rare. Fair enough. We are selling for 19, so let's just clear up this inventory. And you know what? I think we have to do it. I don't find a better time in our situation to grab ourselves... And this is rare to find as it is, and there's two of them. So let's take a training equipment. We won't do it right away because, I have to remember, we are on a patrol quest. And we'll take this fight just because it's three extra heads. Extra money. Oh, it's... wait, six? I thought it said four enemies. I'm losing my mind. But that's okay. Didn't need it anyways. <laughs> Let's go again. Nice. Can't wait till we find a famed one of these. Man, that would be the day. Hopefully that day is sooner than later. But we will be hunting for it when we can. Eh, nothing fancy. Just free food to keep us hungry. Uh, not hungry. Not having to spend money on food. But that's such a great pickup. The training equipment and the extra weapon. What are we sitting on? 16 kills. Could do a little bit better. So let's wander south. Try and pick up some more fights before we head back. we got five days. So it's not like there's a giant rush to get back. Wonder what's out here. Just more forest. Ooh, yeah, not really keen on that as much. Necro Savants could be doable, but it's not like they give us anything important. They probably give us some XP, some decent XP for that fight. Barbarian location? Sure. Why not? Clearing up the low level barbarian locations eventually gets you better ones. Uh, nine enemies and a bear rug. Not bad. Oh, we lose our confidence. You jerk. We were happy before you came along. Okay, let's go for a double spin. Calling it right now. Let's get two kills. Oh, it was only one kill. And I don't even know if that was a double spin. Okay, let's try that again. Double spin with four kills. 
Yes, the double spin with four kills. Beautiful. And this will collect most of the heads we need for this quest. I don't think there's much more we need. So we might just have to hand it in. But I'll double check because my numbers are probably a little bit off. We get furs and a silver bowl and a hundred bucks. And not bad. That's 24. Yes, that is perfect. Let's go get paid. Let's also stay a little bit safe. White unholds will be very painful to fight. Because unholds hit through your armor too easily. And if we take a few of those and some really crushing injuries, I, I'm not looking forward to seeing how that'll take us in a fight. Yeah, we could buy some tools, but that's a little expensive. I can't be too picky. We got decent money. But we have to keep restoring our cash because we're spending so much of it. <laughs> okay, what we'll do is we'll take the easy way out. We will check prices, obviously. Check things. Nope, they're not liking us. Uh, following the tracks. Mm, not really. We want to hang around Grafenschat and... Uh, Summersburg. I mean, these guys took care of us really well, but these guys defend us whilst we're camping. So we'll come back to Grafenschat, see if they've changed, which they probably haven't. No way am I doing that quest. I hate doing those ones. And there's no way I'm doing a caravan. Okay, we'll wait till morning quickly. There we go. Have you restocked? No, you have not. Okay. So let's quickly run over to Summersburg. And camp for like four days, five days, ten days, however long it takes for our training to go. Because these guys will possibly protect us whilst we sit. And my goodness, our retinue is doing really well. And we still can't get anything. <laughs> okay, this will be a new thing for us. Let's go get our stats at four times, eight times speed. Oh, it'll take some time. Every single camp ability depends on how many people are doing it. And it affects every single person within the camp. So one person training. This is going to be rough. Okay, so that's two days. We'll go till we run out of food. Which is a few more days because of this spoilage. Paid work, you say? No, we're not interested. And that resets the time, unfortunately. It's good for normal runs, but for at the moment, it's not assisting us. We'll go till day 80 and see what comes up, and see what free stats we get. Okay. Midday rolls around. What did we get? One hit point. That was five days. Almost, of training. 650 XP. And one hit point. Oh, that's rough. I mean, the hit point was a good call. We need hit points, we need fatigue, we need melee defense, we need melee attack. And if we get a resolve here, that's fine. We don't want initiative, we don't want range, and we don't want range defense. But for one stat, after five days of just sitting around... The stocks will be refreshed, so let's quickly check the inventories. Nothing intrigues us there. Tools are 230, so we can actually buy a couple of those. We'll get four of those to fully max ourselves out. And they're selling at 19, so let's make our money. And 420 for furs is not too bad, so we'll sell that as well. Buy some cheese. That's expensive. Let's get some grains. Okay. Let's uh, check what the quest is. Patrol the... Oh, we'll take that. We have to take that. We need to vent off some steam. My goodness. One stat. And we get ambushed by thralls. I'm not upset. I'm happy this happened. Kind of sad it's not Reavers, but 
We need to vent off some steam. We got one stat increase for five days of training. You guys deserve this. And are adding greatly to our headcount, so thank you. We'll have to do another training session, hopefully before the end of the episode, but... Sheesh. Was that a double? One, two, three, four, five, six... No, it was just a single. Double would have probably killed a few. Mm-hmm. A lot of rotates, that's perfectly fine. Oh, hello. Lucky fives. Won't last long. Nice. But yeah, it's always interesting to verse barbarians because they'll have more frontliners attacking you because of rotate than you'd expect. And they love using it every single round. <laughs> it does your head into if you're trying to keep track of somebody's health. And you're trying to make sure that you're focusing fire on one of them, and they'll just rotate somebody out, and you're like, ah, oh, it's not what I wanted to have happen. But it's alright. We got this. Thralls are not a threat to us at the moment. It's mainly armor-piercing sort of damage that we really worry about, or hammers. And barbarian thralls don't use hammers. Reavers do, so I'm a little bit worried when we find a reaver. Not insanely worried. I think we can take them. Which is why I'm hoping we get them eventually. But maybe we don't have to worry so much about wasting time training, because eventually we'll get some better enemies. And then we'll have a free perk, a free trait, and 15 extra stats when we get there. And this is actually going to be some really nice XP. I'm not going to be complaining about this at all. 15 thralls. That adds up. And they're dropping a decent amount of loot. 1700. Not bad. 20 bucks, sadly. But they did drop a figurine, so... Definitely a little bit of cash there. Okay, so thank you for the ambush. There's undead. No, that's just their old footprints. Okay. Finishing the patrol. We got 20 more to kill, so let's hope we get another thrall fight or something. This area always has something to do with it. You once saw an unholden person. Yeah, well, that's funny, buddy. I've seen four. <laughs> and they didn't do anything but just throw me over their shoulders. It made no sense. Okay, so that area got ambushed, but they dealt with it. So, let's head up here. We'll go visit Summersburg. No, no, no. Grafenschat. Try and find some more barbarians. Maybe a bit north? Ah, oh, it's not night. It's nighttime. Yeah, I guess it gives us an excuse to camp for a little bit. Yeah, didn't learn anything useful. Not expected to learn anything from that nightly time. 19. Okay, let's just empty it out. Not bad. Does the weaponsmith have what we want? No, they do not. Well, we'll keep trying. But let's head north. Let's try and find a barbarian encampment. Maybe one hiding in the trees. Oh, there is undead wandering the planet. Hmm. And barbarians found us, so I'm not complaining. That's six, I think, I saw on the map there. Maybe there will finally be a reaver. It's an ambush, so, I mean, they'll take their time getting to us. Hello. Oh, hello. Man, we are so blind. <laughs> Double fives, that's a great way to start it, buddy. And we're surrounded by six. Oh, the double swing to start it off. 
No kills, but the damage. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Okay, and let's go again. Almost two attacks and we cleared them out. It's one guy alive. It was nice knowing you, bud. Oh, figurines and a necklace. You got us more money than the last group. Thank you. Ah, oh, that's why they went after us. Oh my goodness, a few chosen? I don't think we're ready for that. That might be a little bit out of our pay grade for the moment. One on one, we could probably beat a chosen. It's just uh, most likely that fight's not going to be one on one. Ooh, some footprints. They're a bit slow to get to us. I don't think we're going to be able to get to those footprints before they get attacked by something. No, no, there's it's a bunch of thralls. They're all dead. You killed them all. Oh, wait, we have to return in one day. Crap. Quickly, quickly get back before we fail the quest. Nope, they didn't refresh. Quickly, 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 quickly. Please, someone ambush us. We don't want to finish our quest and lose it. Oh, 1300. Okay. It's back to trading. Day 84, we start our grind. And an enemy such as a Shrat shouldn't be taken lightly. You're darn right. Mainly because they're annoying. That's it. It's a very tedious fight. Okay, that's practically almost two days in the works. We'll try and do another five-day grind and see if it makes a difference. We better get more than one stat this time. The Knight of 84. We need to go to the Knight of 89. Almost there. Oh, we're out of food. Okay, maybe we um should deal with food first. We get a melee defense! Sweet! Absolutely sweet, but we only get one stat. Up to 68, though, so we can't complain. I do need to make sure we eat. Uh, are you unhappy, buddy? No, you're not. Good. I'm glad we didn't get to the point where you weren't unhappy from not eating. Because that would have been a very silly blunder. <laughs> okay. Any weapons? There is... The third and final chain mace! It's here! The search is done. We're set. The only thing we need now is famed chain maces. And that's gonna be hard to find. By killing enemies or by just finding them in shops. It's not gonna be an easy task. But finding these three should have been a little easier than it was. But, you know, how good does that look? Triple mace. In all honesty, bags and belts could be useful. I didn't think about it, but I just thought about it now. We could hold two more chain maces. Uh, obviously with struggles to fatigue. But, you know, maybe somewhere down the line, bags and belts could be useful. Maybe. But now instead of having 80 durability, we have 240 durability. So, you know, we can definitely, definitely survive some bigger fights. Hunt down the Barbarian King for 6.2! Oh, I'm not ready for that. I did say we were going to be ready for it, but 6.2 is rough. Oh, boy. Before we take the Barbarian King... I want us to try the Chosen. If we can't do the Chosen, we can't do the Barbarian King. That's just that simple. Uh, in terms of food, we have five more days. Let's buy another one. Sweet. We'll wander up to the Chosen, and it'll be next episode that we try it out. 
That Barbarian King quest will stay there for a while, so we don't have to worry about him going anywhere anytime soon. He's not ditching us. And I'm sure other places will make us have a lot of money for doing a quest like that. 6.3. That'll be the biggest quest we've ever taken. And I don't know if our Crusader is up to the task. We will have to test the metal. And this place is where we test our metal. Chosen do have decent armor, so we do have to worry about that. Many, many, few, few, some. It is in the snow. I don't know if that's forced. It might be on a snow tile instead of a forest tile. A high ground would make that fight super valuable. And save us a lot of pain and suffering. But regardless, that is it. We are just over time. So we don't have time to take this fight today. We will have to try it next episode. But I hope you guys enjoyed our wonderful shopping experience today. And some nice fights and some good levels. 15, having those beautiful stats and perks. We have two training points. Oh my goodness, this is going to take a while. It's going to be valuable having free perks and free traits. I mean, if we roll a good trait, that's the main question. Is it even going to happen? But the free perk is going to be helpful. We have so many we want and just can't wait. Personal armor... We want Headhunter, we want Small Target. Immunities we're not grabbing because it's technically removed from the game, so we can't grab them. I guess a few Blunt ones are good as well, because we are doing Blunt damage. So things like Deep Impact is pretty decent. Uh, what is this? Hit points received from range attacks is reduced. That's not bad for Man of Steel. We do take some ranged attacks and they are the most annoying things at the moment. But we just need to make sure we're the perfect person in melee. And then maybe take things like Man of Steel. Because we've got a long way to go. And next episode will really either make us or break us. But I hope you enjoyed watching. And we'll catch you in the next one. And let's hope we survive a lot longer. See us.